Eight Stoic Advices from Marcus Aurelius Enduring Hard Days. Our modern world, where stress seems to lurk around every corner and uncertainty looms over us like a dark cloud, finding solace can often feel like an impossible feat. But what if I told you that there's a timeless wisdom, centuries old, that holds the key to enduring even the hardest of days? Welcome to our journey into the heart of Stoicism, guided by none other than the great Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. In this video, we'll uncover eight invaluable pieces of advice from his renowned work, Meditations, offering insights that are as relevant today as they were in ancient Rome. Number one, embrace adversity as a crucible. When life throws us into tough situations, it can feel like we're being tossed around in a stormy sea. Everything seems uncertain and we might feel scared or overwhelmed, but in the heart of those stormy moments, there lies an opportunity, a chance for us to grow stronger and more resilient. Imagine you're facing a big challenge like climbing a steep mountain. It's not easy and there are many obstacles along the way. But with each step you take, with each obstacle you overcome, you become stronger and more capable. The journey itself becomes a test of your strength and determination. In the same way, life's challenges are like the mountain we must climb. They push us to our limits, testing our courage and resolve. But instead of seeing them as roadblocks, we can view them as stepping stones to personal growth. Think of it like this. When you're working out at the gym, the weights you lift may feel heavy and difficult to handle, but with each repetition, your muscles grow stronger. Similarly, when we face adversity, we're exercising our inner strength, building resilience with every challenge we overcome. It's important to remember that everyone faces tough times. We're all in this together, navigating the ups and downs of life. And just as we support others in their times of need, we can also draw strength from their support when we face our own challenges. So, instead of fearing adversity, embrace it as an opportunity for growth. See it as a chance to become the best version of yourself. When you look back on your journey, you'll see how far you've come and realize that every struggle you faced made you stronger. In the end, it's not about avoiding challenges, it's about facing them head on with courage and resilience. By embracing adversity as a crucible for growth, we can emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. Number two, focus on what you can control. In the vast theater of life, amidst its tumultuous scenes and unpredictable plot twists, there exists a fundamental truth that Marcus Aurelius, the revered Stoic philosopher emperor, espouses. The delineation between that which lies within our dominion and that which eludes our grasp. You have power over your mind, not outside events, he asserts, encapsulating the essence of Stoic philosophy in a single admonition. This axiom serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers of wisdom through the labyrinth of existence. At its core, Stoicism beckons us to relinquish our futile grasp upon the externals, those ephemeral phenomena that dance upon the stage of reality with capricious abandon. Instead, it enjoins us to turn inward, to scrutinize the inner citadel of our consciousness, wherein lies the true locus of our sovereignty. Within these sacred confines dwell the faculties of reason, will, and moral choice, the triumvirate that endows us with agency, autonomy, and resilience. In the crucible of adversity when tempests rage and tempests roar, it is here that we must anchor ourselves, tethering our spirits to the immutable bedrock of self-mastery. For in every trial, every tribulation, lies an opportunity, a crucible wherein the dross of our character is purged, leaving behind the gleaming gold of virtue. Consider then, the wisdom of Aurelius. Realize this, and you will find strength. Strength, not of sinew or sinew, but of spirit. An indomitable fortitude that transcends the vicissitudes of fortune. 
undaunted by the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune. It is a strength born not of defiance, but of acceptance, not resignation, but resolution. To heed these sage words is to embark upon a journey of self-discovery, a pilgrimage into the depths of one's own soul. Here, amidst the labyrinthine corridors of the psyche, one discovers a treasury of untapped potential, a reservoir of resilience waiting to be unleashed. For what are the vicissitudes of fate, if not mere trifles in the grand tapestry of existence? What are the slings and arrows of outer juice misfortune, if not fleeting shadows cast by the light of our own consciousness? In the final analysis, it is not the external circumstances that define us, but our response to them. Not the hand we are dealt, but how we choose to play our cards. Thus let us heed the wisdom of Aurelius embracing our role as architects of our own destiny. Let us cultivate the garden of our minds with care, sowing the seeds of virtue and nurturing them with the waters of wisdom. And let us remember, always, that true strength lies not in the ability to control the world around us, but in the mastery of our own thoughts, desires, and actions. In the crucible of adversity, when the tempests rage and the heavens weep, let us stand firm upon the bedrock of our principles, unmoved by the tumult of the world. For in the end, it is not the storms that define us, but our steadfastness in the face of them. Not the trials we endure, but the grace with which we bear them. So let us take heart, fellow travelers upon the path of Stoicism, and remember always the words of Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. For in the recognition of our own sovereignty lies the key to enduring hardship with equanimity and emerging from the crucible of adversity stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. Number three, perspective. Consider the bigger picture and the impermanence of difficulties. Imagine yourself standing on a mountaintop. The tough situation you're in feels like a huge problem right now, but from up here, you realize it's just a small part of a much bigger landscape. This doesn't mean the problem disappears, but it helps you see it's not the whole story. Maybe similar things have happened before and people got through them. Maybe this difficulty will even lead to something positive in the future. By taking a step back, you gain perspective and a sense of calm to navigate the challenge. The Stoics believed that most of our suffering stems from a distorted perspective. We tend to focus on the immediate, the things right in front of us, blowing them out of proportion. A lost job feels like the end of the world. A fight with a friend becomes an insurmountable betrayal. Stoicism encourages us to zoom out, to consider the situation in the context of our entire life and the vastness of the universe. Everything changes. Jobs end, friendships evolve, and even the most challenging situations eventually pass. By reminding ourselves of impermanence, we can detach from the immediate pain and see the bigger picture. Our lives are a tiny part of a much larger story. Focusing solely on our own troubles ignores the vastness of the world and the experiences of others. Stepping back allows us to see our problems in context, making them seem less overwhelming. Stoicism encourages us to consider both the past and the future. While we can't control the future, we can prepare for it. Maybe this current struggle is an opportunity to learn a new skill, develop resilience, or deepen your relationships. Seeing the potential for growth within the challenge can shift your perspective. Write down your worries and anxieties. Then, try to reframe them from a more expansive viewpoint what will this situation look like a year from now? Even in difficult times, find things to be grateful for. Focusing on the positive aspects of life can shift your perspective and boost your overall well-being. Number four, practice gratitude. In the midst of life's challenges and adversities, 
Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, offers timeless wisdom on the transformative power of gratitude. He writes, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. These words encapsulate a foundational principle of Stoicism, the practice of gratitude as a pathway to inner peace and fulfillment. At its essence, Stoicism teaches individuals to cultivate a mindset of gratitude by recognizing and appreciating the inherent blessings of existence. Rather than dwelling on what is lacking or lamenting over hardships, Stoics advocate for a shift in perspective wherein one focuses on the abundance and beauty present in each moment. Central to the practice of gratitude in Stoicism is the concept of eudaimonia, often translated as flourishing or living in accordance with virtue. According to Stoic philosophy, true happiness and fulfillment arise not from external possessions or circumstances, but from cultivating virtue and living in harmony with nature. By embracing gratitude, individuals align themselves with the natural order of the universe and cultivate a deep sense of contentment and well-being. Aurelius's exhortation to reflect on the preciousness of life each morning serves as a reminder to savor the simple joys and pleasures that abound in our daily experiences. From the sensation of the morning breeze against our skin to the warmth of a loved one's embrace, Stoicism encourages individuals to find beauty and meaning in the ordinary moments of life. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of philosophical detachment the ability to cultivate inner tranquility and serenity irrespective of external circumstances. By practicing gratitude, individuals develop a sense of detachment from the transient ups and downs of life, finding solace and contentment in the present moment. Aurelius's reflection on the privilege of being alive underscores the Stoic concept of amor fati, the love of fate. According to this principle, individuals should embrace all aspects of their existence, including hardships and challenges, as integral components of a broader cosmic order. By cultivating gratitude for the gift of life itself, Stoics learn to accept and appreciate the entirety of their experiences, both pleasant and painful. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages individuals to adopt a prosush, a vigilant and mindful attitude towards life, by cultivating awareness of the present moment and acknowledging the blessings that surround us, individuals can overcome the tendency to dwell on past regrets or anxieties about the future. Aurelius's practice of reflecting on the preciousness of life each morning serves as a powerful tool for cultivating mindfulness and fostering a deeper appreciation for the present moment. In addition to promoting emotional well-being, the practice of gratitude in Stoicism also fosters a sense of interconnectedness and compassion towards others. By acknowledging the blessings and privileges we enjoy, Stoics are reminded of the suffering and struggles faced by others, prompting them to extend empathy and support to those in need. Aurelius's teachings on gratitude serve as a poignant reminder of the transformative power of appreciation in shaping our perceptions and experiences of the world. By cultivating a mindset of gratitude, individuals can find solace, meaning, and fulfillment amidst life's challenges and uncertainties. Ultimately, Stoicism teaches us that true happiness and contentment arise not from external possessions or circumstances, but from cultivating gratitude and embracing the inherent blessings of existence. Number five, maintain inner peace. Let's delve deeply into point number three, which emphasizes maintaining inner peace despite external circumstances, using Marcus Aurelius' own words in the broader principles of Stoicism. In his renowned work Meditations, Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, imparts invaluable wisdom on maintaining inner peace amidst he writes, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. 
This profound statement encapsulates a fundamental tenet of Stoicism, the importance of cultivating inner tranquility and resilience irrespective of external circumstances. At its core, Stoicism teaches individuals to focus on what is within their control, namely, their thoughts, attitudes, and actions, while accepting with equanimity the aspects of life beyond their influence. Aurelius's assertion underscores the Stoic belief in the power of the mind to shape one's perception of reality and determine one's emotional responses to external events. Central to Stoic philosophy is the concept of apatheia, a state of tranquility or freedom from disturbing emotions. While Stoics acknowledge the inevitability of experiencing pain and suffering, they advocate for maintaining emotional equilibrium and inner peace, regardless of external circumstances. Aurelius's admonition to recognize the power of one's mind underscores the Stoic principle of mastering one's reactions to external events through rationality and self-discipline. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of ataraxia, a state of inner calm and serenity that arises from detachment from external outcomes. By detaching oneself from the transient fluctuations of fortune and focusing instead on cultivating inner virtues, individuals can achieve a sense of peace that is unaffected by the vicissitudes of life. Aurelius' words echo the Stoic concept of eudaimonia, the pursuit of a flourishing and fulfilling life through the cultivation of moral and intellectual virtues. According to Stoicism, True happiness and contentment arise not from external wealth or status, but from the internal state of one's soul. By prioritizing the development of inner virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance, individuals can achieve a profound sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Furthermore, Stoicism advocates for the practice of philosophical detachment a mindset wherein individuals learn to detach themselves from external events and maintain a sense of perspective amidst adversity. Aurelius admonition to recognize the power of one's mind over external events reflects the Stoic belief in the sovereignty of reason and the importance of maintaining a rational perspective in all circumstances. In his meditations, Aurelius frequently reflects on the impermanence of life and the transient nature of worldly pursuits. He reminds us that external events are inherently fleeting and ephemeral, and that true peace and contentment can only be found within oneself. By cultivating an inner fortress of tranquility and resilience, individuals can navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and equanimity. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of premeditatio malorum, the premeditation of evils. By mentally preparing for adversity and contemplating worst-case scenarios, individuals can mitigate the impact of hardship and develop resilience in advance. Aurelius advocates for a proactive approach to facing challenges, wherein one anticipates difficulties and prepares oneself psychologically for their inevitability. Moreover, Stoicism teaches individuals to embrace the concept of amor fati, the love of fate. According to this principle, individuals should embrace all aspects of their existence, including hardships, as essential components of a predetermined cosmic order. By accepting adversity as an inevitable part of life's journey, Stoics believe one can cultivate resilience and fortitude, Aurelius's words serve as a poignant reminder that true strength and resilience lie not in external circumstances, but in the inner resources of the mind and soul. By recognizing the power of one's mind to shape one's perception of reality and determine one's emotional responses to external events, individuals can cultivate inner peace and tranquility amidst the tumult of the world. Ultimately, Stoicism teaches us that true happiness and contentment arise not from external wealth or status, but from the cultivation of moral and intellectual virtues within oneself. Number six, strength through adversity, view challenges as opportunities to grow and develop inner strength. 
Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Challenges, setbacks, and unforeseen difficulties are inevitable. These moments can leave us feeling defeated, questioning our strength and purpose. However, Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers a powerful perspective on adversity. It's not something to be dreaded, but an opportunity for growth and resilience. This section delves into the core of Stoic wisdom on adversity, exploring how we can transform challenges into stepping stones for a stronger, more fulfilling life. The Stoics didn't believe in sugarcoating the harsh realities of life. Number seven, live in accordance with virtue. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Strive to embody virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance in your thoughts and actions. Let virtue be your guiding principle in all endeavors. In the annals of history, amidst the grand tapestry of human civilization, few figures shine as brightly as Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher emperor whose reign marked a zenith of wisdom, virtue, and resilience. Born into a world fraught with political intrigue and existential peril, Aurelius ascended to the throne of Rome at a time when the empire teetered on the brink of collapse, beset by external threats and internal strife. Yet, despite the formidable challenges that lay before him, Aurelius remained steadfast in his commitment to Stoic philosophy, guiding the empire with wisdom, justice, and compassion. At the heart of Aurelius' philosophy lay a profound reverence for virtue, a steadfast commitment to embodying the timeless principles of Stoicism in thought, word, and deed. For Aurelius, virtue was not merely a theoretical abstraction, but a guiding beacon that illuminated the path to a life of meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. In the pages of his seminal work, Meditations, Aurelius expounded upon the cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, and their paramount importance in shaping the character of the individual and the destiny of nations. To understand the significance of living in accordance with virtue, we must first delve into the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, tracing its origins from the ancient streets of Athens to the hallowed halls of the Roman Forum. Founded by Zeno of Sidium in the 3rd century BCE, Stoicism emerged as a response to the tumultuous political and social upheaval that gripped the Hellenistic world. Drawing upon the teachings of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, the Stoics sought to cultivate an inner citadel of tranquility and equanimity, a fortress of the soul, impervious to the vicissitudes of fortune. Central to the Stoic worldview was the concept of eudaimonia, a state of flourishing or well-being that arises from living in accordance with nature and reason. Unlike the hedonistic pursuits of pleasure and wealth espoused by their Epicurean rivals, the Stoics argued that true happiness could only be attained through the cultivation of virtue and the pursuit of moral excellence. In the words of Epictetus, another prominent Stoic philosopher, Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control and some things are not. It is within this framework that we must interpret Aurelius's injunction to live in accordance with virtue, to embrace the cardinal virtues as guiding principles in our quest for a life of meaning and fulfillment. Let us begin by examining each of these virtues in turn elucidating their significance and exploring their practical implications for the conduct of our lives. At the bedrock of the Stoic edifice lies the virtue of wisdom, a virtue that encompasses not only the acquisition of knowledge, but also the discernment to apply it judiciously in the pursuit of the good. For Aurelius, wisdom was the cornerstone upon which all other virtues rested the guiding light that illuminated the path to a life of moral excellence and intellectual clarity. In his meditations, Aurelius extolled the virtues of wisdom, urging his readers to cultivate a deep reverence for truth and a commitment to lifelong learning. The universe is change, 
Our life is what our thoughts make it, he wrote, encapsulating the stoic belief in the transformative power of reason and the importance of cultivating a rational and inquisitive mind. But wisdom, for Aurelius, was not merely an intellectual pursuit. It was a way of life, a mode of being in the world that transcended the boundaries of mere knowledge. It was the capacity to see the world with clarity and insight, to discern the true nature of things amidst the ephemeral flux of existence. Closely intertwined with wisdom is the virtue of courage, a virtue that embodies the indomitable spirit of the stoic sage in the face of adversity and hardship. For Aurelius, courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it, the willingness to confront the challenges of life with fortitude and resilience. In the crucible of adversity, when the tempests rage and the heavens weep, it is courage that sustains us, enabling us to endure the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune with dignity and grace. Do not disturb yourself by picturing your life as a whole, Aurelius admonished. Do not assemble in your mind the many and varied troubles which have come to you in the past and will come again in the future. A discussion of virtue would be complete without considering the cardinal virtue of justice, a virtue that lies at the heart of the stoic conception of the good life. For Aurelius, justice was more than mere adherence to the letter of the law. It was a moral imperative that demanded fairness, equity, and compassion in all our dealings with others. In the pursuit of justice, Aurelius admonished his readers to cultivate a deep reverence for the inherent dignity and worth of every human being, regardless of race, creed, or station in life. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, he wrote, be one. In a world beset by injustice and inequality, it is incumbent upon each of us to uphold the principles of justice and fairness in our interactions with others, to strive for a society in which all are treated with dignity and respect. It is through the exercise of justice that we fulfill our duty to our fellow human beings, fostering a community of mutual trust, cooperation, and solidarity. Number eight, accept what cannot be changed. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, imparts invaluable wisdom on the importance of accepting what cannot be changed. He writes, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This profound statement encapsulates a fundamental principle of Stoicism, the distinction between external events and our reactions to them. At its core, Stoicism teaches individuals to cultivate inner tranquility and resilience by focusing on what is within their control while accepting with equanimity the aspects of life beyond their influence. Aurelius' assertion underscores the Stoic belief in the power of perception to shape one's emotional responses to external events and the importance of maintaining a rational perspective in all circumstances. Central to Stoic philosophy is the concept of apatheia, a state of tranquility or freedom from disturbing emotions. While Stoics acknowledge the inevitability of experiencing pain and suffering, they advocate for maintaining emotional equilibrium and inner peace regardless of external circumstances. Aurelius' admonition to recognize the source of one's distress underscores the Stoic principle of mastering one's reactions to external events through rationality and self-discipline. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of ataraxia, a state of inner calm and serenity that arises from detachment from external outcomes. By detaching oneself from the transient fluctuations of fortune and focusing instead on cultivating inner virtues, individuals can achieve a sense of peace that is unaffected by the vicissitudes of life. Aurelius's words echo the Stoic concept of eudaimonia, the pursuit of a flourishing and fulfilling life through the cultivation of moral and intellectual virtues. According to Stoicism, true happiness and contentment arise not from external wealth or status, but from the internal state of one's soul. 
By prioritizing the development of inner virtues such as wisdom, courage, and temperance, individuals can achieve a profound sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Furthermore, Stoicism advocates for the practice of philosophical detachment, a mindset wherein individuals learn to detach themselves from external events and maintain a sense of perspective amidst adversity. Aurelius's admonition to recognize the source of one's distress reflects the Stoic belief in the sovereignty of reason and the importance of maintaining a rational perspective in all circumstances. In his meditations, Aurelius frequently reflects on the impermanence of life and the transient nature of worldly pursuits. He reminds us that external events are inherently fleeting and ephemeral, and that true peace and contentment can only be found within oneself. By cultivating an inner fortress of tranquility and resilience, individuals can navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and equanimity. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of premeditatio malorum, the premeditation of evils. By mentally preparing for adversity and contemplating worst case scenarios, individuals can mitigate the impact of hardship and develop resilience in advance. Aurelius advocates for a proactive approach to facing challenges, wherein one anticipates difficulties and prepares oneself psychologically for their inevitability. Moreover, Stoicism teaches individuals to embrace the concept of amor fati, the love of fate. According to this principle, individuals should embrace all aspects of their existence, including hardships, as essential components of a predetermined cosmic order. By accepting adversity as an inevitable part of life's journey, Stoics believe one can cultivate resilience and fortitude Aurelius's words serve as a poignant reminder that true strength and resilience lie not in external circumstances, but in the inner resources of the mind and soul. By recognizing the source of one's distress and accepting what cannot be changed, individuals can cultivate inner peace and tranquility amidst the tumult of the world. Ultimately, Stoicism teaches us that true happiness and contentment arise not from external wealth or status, but from the cultivation of moral and intellectual virtues within oneself. As we come to the end of our journey through the stoic wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, let us carry these timeless teachings with us, like precious treasures to guide us through life's inevitable storms. Remember, in the face of adversity, we possess the power to remain steadfast, to find peace amidst chaos, and to emerge stronger on the other side. May we all strive to embody the virtues of Stoicism, wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice. And may Marcus Aurelius' words continue to inspire us to face each day with resilience, grace, and unwavering determination. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until we meet again, May you find solace in the timeless wisdom of the Stoics, and may your days be filled with strength, serenity, and the courage to endure.